All right, uh, Doran, let's take a look at what you're working on. Yeah, let me just share my screen. Okay. Yeah, so this is a an update based on your last round of feedback on Stacks on Homepage. Um, and just a quick refresher, Stacks on Homepage would allow you to stack multiple projects in what we call Stacks. Um, and there's three ways in which you can do that. Like a folder, um, basically, right? Like putting things together that are related. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, okay. you, yeah you can think of it as a, as a folder, essentially. Um, so there, there are three ways in which you can do it. Um, you can either drag um, a project in recently visited on top of another project, and you'll see that the context changes into a, a create stack. And once you release that, you'll move to the top, to the pinned areas. So over here, you can see that you have a new stack here. You can click inside. Um, you can give it a new name. Uh, let's call it cycle five. Um, save it. And the projects they just drop on top of each other, of course, will form that stack. Um, you can as well just drag a project from recently visited uh, on top of, let's say, house remodel in this case. And a, a new stack is going to be created um, exactly the same as, as previously was. So again, you can rename it, etc. You can as well drag a, a project from, let's say, getting started to Annie's corner um, within the pinned area at the top. And the same, you get a new stack. Let's call it Hello World. Um, and that's done. So these are the stacks. You can still move them around in the top section. So let's say I'm working on cycle five. I want to have it on the top left. I'm going to move it there. Um, maybe, you know, this is the company's stack where I have all my base camp. So I can re rename it to base camp. And I can, it's just so much easier to organize your pinned areas. And I know many people have many projects in the pinned areas. It's very hard to keep track of, you know, where things are. Um, and in this way with stacks, it's just much easier to, to control that. Um, can, I, can I ask a couple quick questions? Um, by sure. the way, this is great. Uh, I really like the transition um, when you rename the stack too. It's really smooth and direct. Um, what uh, I'm wondering, did you guys explore it all? So, so every time you create a stack, it says new stack. Um, and we don't ask you to rename it there. Um, had you explored or do you want to explore like concatenating the two projects that you, if you create a new stack, so, you know, only on creation, if there's just two, which of course is how it might work to start. I wonder if I could say like, can you open that one, for example? Just, click, yeah. So it's house remodel and project name three. I almost wonder if it would, if it could be like, eh, it, house remodel plus project name three. But then again, like, as you add more, we wouldn't want to keep concatenating. Um, I just wonder if, if it would, if it's going to be something people are going to have a bunch of stacks called new stack. But then again, maybe they'll just figure out how to rename it. I don't know. Any thoughts on that? Do you play with that at all? Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I've considered when when we when we first started this was to have the stack name being the name of the project that you first drop. Um, so in this case, if I'm dropping, for instance, project name four on top of the little laptop, the project is going to be called project name four because that's the one that I'm dropping. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, to your point, like it, it might not make sense for yeah. a lot of people. Uh, and, you know, it's a good example for our case. You know, if we have cycle five, if I'm dropping a project in cycle five, it's not going to be reflecting the the right. actual name that I want. So, do yeah, you have I think that, do you have the previous design we looked at before this? Because that that sort of, in a sense, solved it because it showed the miniature versions of the projects inside the stack. Yeah. So, so this is the, the this is the previous version where the stack would not be actually you know a wide um, project like box. Yeah. It would be something like that you see the projects within the stack. Um, and that was the nice side you know, ab about this is that you would just like in a glimpse, see what's inside. Yeah. And when you click, uh, it will open, sorry to go back, it will open and you will see the, the exact projects that you see in yep. smaller version. Um, so that's so, one yeah. advantage perhaps to the previous design. But I think that um, as we looked at it, it, 
in this one situation, it kind of looks all right. But when you have a bunch of them, it starts to feel pretty overwhelming pretty quickly. So, okay. One other thought I had, can you go back to the, to the, yeah. in Chrome, um, uh, close that out drag a project on top of another project, but don't drop, don't create a stack yet. See what says create a stack. I wonder if we should say st stack these projects or something like that. I, instead of create a stack, it's not, it's a little bit like, it, it's a bit more about, um, the end goal, which is stacking them up versus creating something. I don't know, just a thought. I'm just kind of riffing out loud, but that was something I was thinking about. The other thing I, I want to bring up real quick, can you open an actual stack? Um, the link at the bottom, empty stack, I assume that just removes the projects. Can you try that? Yeah. So when you click this, the projects go back in the pinned areas Yeah. and you get a message, no projects in the stack. And then in that bottom link changes to delete stack. Yeah, so at this point, you can just remove the stack completely, um, okay. which will get rid of it. Yep. Um, I like that. Um, so there's... One thing I would think about is instead of saying empty stack, since since it's Word, since we have room, it's not a button. It's like, I wonder if it could say like, um, remove projects from the stack, remove all projects from the stack, or maybe, yeah, maybe empty this stack. Just empty stack is a little bit um, brutal in a sense. It's like, it's pretty short and I'm not totally sure. I think I know what it does, but it feels a little stark. Well, yeah. One, one, so, one thing we can do to can, yeah. kind of combine, because I was also wondering about potentially, you know, do we need to explain it more or just tell them what's going to happen at all? So like you could combine it to like move projects back to pinned. Yeah, but they're not mm -hmm. all pinned. They are. <laughs> oh, okay we need to talk about that then yeah <laughs> yeah that, that, that doesn't make any sense to me but okay we'll get we'll get into that in a second okay yeah. uh so yeah so we could we could explain that uh related to the empty the stack and you know we've kind of gone back and forth on whether like you clear know, out you know, i mean just basically like is do we consider this destructive like during qa it came up like should we do you need to be warned what's going to happen? Do we need to you know, really be explicit about what's happening? Generally, I think it's like, it's a stack. You're not losing anything when you empty it. Like, I don't think, you're, you know, so like, I, I think we could be better on the worry about, I don't personally think we have to like warn on it. No. Yeah. The only thing is though, just to play this out is it's not destructive, obviously, because you're not deleting any projects, but it's something you can, you can hit it by accident. And if you did have a dozen projects in here, it would be really frustrating to hit that and not yeah. get. I think that was the main QA thing is like, you just like you accidentally click or whatever. And it's like, oh my gosh, I have to start all over again. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's a place to put it where it's less accidental. Um, uh, or, I mean, we could of course have a confirmation, but it feels, it feels heavy. Um, I mean, we could say empty stack, you click it and then it says, are you sure? And you have to click it again or something like that. Like I, there are some things we could do, but let's, let's just leave that on the table. Yeah. One of the, one of the things that we we've done uh, in one of the initial versions was to have, have the delete stack or empty stack once you click on the edit. Um, so you would have it here essentially. Um, right. and then the whole, yeah. I like that too, actually, Doran. Can you actually do that again? So we don't currently have a delete unless you right empty it out first, which is a nice, also a nice safety mechanism, a little safety valve yeah. there. Um, yeah. yeah, we could have, when you're in that mode, we could actually reveal the empty stack link at the bottom even. I don't even know if I'd put it right next to that, but like maybe that just that whole thing presents yeah. all the options that you would have. Um, yeah, my main, if we went back and forth that, my main hesitation on that was just like, it feels like you're not entering an edit stack mode as much as you're like entering an edit title mode, you know? Sure. So like, it's hard to know if, is that where you think you would find <laughs> find that? But like, yeah, you know, how often do you need to empty a stack? How often do you need to delete them? This it's, is kind of one of those like, um, the obvious, easy, the possible situations <laughs> where it's like, right. I agree that it's not an edit state necessarily, but like it's, if you ever need to do it and you don't know how and you wish there was a way and we show you how and now you know it's like great you can do it versus 
uh, trading that off against the frustration of like hitting that by accident and clearing out a dozen things that you carefully put in there, like that would be pretty frustrating. Yeah. So I would almost prefer to like have that as part of the quote edit state, even though it's not an edit mode, whatever it, whatever it is, settings mode, essentially. Um, just so you don't do it by accident, you know? Yeah. yeah. And you'll probably, you know, you're going to have to figure out how to name, <laughs> how to name them. Yeah. So like, you'll discover, oh, I guess there's also an empty thing. I mean, like, like pretty soon you'll notice that there's this other option. Right. Cool. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's a good idea to show the empty stack maybe at the bottom where it is now, but only when you click the edit title, uh, this one shows up. Um, in which case you would not click it by accident um, because this would not, you would not see it. Yeah, I think we should do that. I actually think we should probably do that. Yeah. Okay. And then how do you get a project out of here um, normally? Just drag it out? Yeah, so you can just drag it out and it just goes away. Cool. And then when you drag, if you drag the other one out, is that essentially the same as? Yeah, so there's it's empty. A, we need Maybe a condition there. Yeah, it should show a message. It should show this message. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's okay. a good, good catch. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so close that door. Uh, one very minor thing, but Jason, we were, we were talking about the uh, the empty stack text there. Like, um, you know, we talked about a few different options. Like, it was a little bit confusing. To, maybe not confusing, but like because we have that like empty stack language currently. You know, like that that's an action you can take to empty the stack. You know, so it felt a little right. strange to use that word, those words there. Uh, Dorm was thinking that like you know zero projects was a little bit to you know computery or something like that so any uh, any thoughts on that one yeah, yeah it, it felt like we we, we had uh, like zero projects before instead of like empty stack and it felt like it was generated by the computer rather than you know put some uh, thought into it and make it more human yeah uh, so I, yeah i wonder what's your uh... i mean the first thing that comes to mind even though i don't think i love it is like um nothing inside or um uh no no projects yeah it, to me it's like it's inside even though it's a stack it's not really an inside thing um yeah, no projects uh, was one that i thought of too what was that what was that brian no, no projects I, I thought that too like that seemed yeah no like project seems better than zero projects um um you could all say this i mean this stack is empty um, but, I, but, but, but empty of what? So I do like the directness of just getting to the point, like no projects or, um, yeah, no projects perhaps could be fine. Um, yeah. I, you know, I also have to say, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the italics simply because <laughs> I love italics, but I don't think our italics are, I don't think this typeface really lends itself well Yeah, at, at this size, especially. So I, I would probably just go just lose it. I mean, I, I like the style. I really do like, there's an elegance to an italics, but I don't think they add anything here. I was, I was, I was waiting for this session to ask you uh, about <laughs> the italics. Um, because like few people suggested it's a movie back to uh, Sans Serif, but then I thought, <laughs> you know, let's, let's, uh, let's ask Jason about this. I go uh, all caps. I go, so like you see the Lido brand header over there on the right hand side. Um, yeah, 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 I think we we use all caps in a few spots. Like small all caps, I think would be could be nice. Yeah, um, I'll try that. Yeah, yeah, play with that. You're good at type, so mess with that. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's that. And then of course you can drag other projects within the stack. If it's open, can you open a stack? Can I drag something in now? No. So this whole area is is locked, um, and it's because this, the the this panel is taking so much space. Yeah, that it would be quite fiddly to 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 try to drag stuff inside. Yeah, right. Um, so so we decided to kind of like blank out all the the space. And if you click it, of course, you will close it. It I acts essentially like a model, um, except that it doesn't have a, a a dark background like as as we as we have it in other places. What do you think about that? What do you think about sort of blurring or dimming the background, given the fact that you can't drag things in when it's open? Do you think it would make sense to almost um, stylistically double down on that? Like if it's blurred out, you wouldn't expect you can do anything with the background. Right now, I kind of expect I can. 
Yeah, so the, the initial idea behind not having a background was that this is supposed to be like a quick action. This is not this is not like a model where you go in and you have to focus on something else like a form or a button or like whatever, or read something. This is more like click, click, done. Right. And it's right. almost like memory muscle rather than you actually having to consume the content that it's inside. And this is why I see it slightly different from what a model usually is. Um, and this is why I removed the background, essentially. But, yeah. you know, that said, it's so easy to edit back that. <laughs> no, I can see I can see how it, it does. I think I, I buy that. By the way, the transition sometimes over Zoom, it's it's hard to see. Does this sort of zoom up or is it just like materializing? Because it'd be nice if it, if it grew. It fades. It fades in. Okay. Um, can we grow it? Can we? Can we? I'll try. I'll expand try. from there. Yeah. I just would yeah. if we can get that to look nice. I think it'd be, it'd feel, uh, more like what you expect. Yeah. Yeah. More. Yeah. yeah more natural. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Does escape? If you hit escape, will it will it x out? Yeah. It will okay. close. Cool. Um. All right. So let's get to this contention, contentious point. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you if you clear a stack, all those projects become pinned. I, I don't. Yeah. I, I assume there's some reason for this, but I I don't like it because they didn't like. You can pull one from recently visited. To me, putting it up there is just putting it in a stack. It's not saying pin it also. So it's it's doing two things when it shouldn't do two things. It should do one thing. Um, can we not have it do that or where are we at here with that? Why, why was that decision made? I mean, this is <laughs> truly contentious, of course. <laughs> um, the, the idea is that, that the, the, the stuff that you have at the top, they're all pinned um, and people are used to that. Uh, I'm used to that. And it's, it, it's kind of implicit that once you have a project at the top in the pinned area, the project is pinned itself. Um, regardless if it's in the stack or outside the stack. I do understand and, and agree with the argument that, you know, project in the stack, you don't see pinned here. So surely they are not pinned in this case. Um, there's, of course, a technical uh, aspect on this as well uh, to mix to mix the the... If you hear something screaming, that's my cat. <laughs> it's not a baby. If you hear something um, screaming, it's it's my kids. So <laughs> my cat doesn't scream. Yeah. So going back to this, there's there's also like a technical aspect to it. Um, in in the way these cards are modeled. Um, so the idea is that once you drag a project, let's say Honcho designed uh, newsroom here into the new stack, it becomes pinned automatically, um, even though it doesn't show here. Um, but because the stack is in the pinned area, surely the, the the projects within the stacks are pinned as well. It's almost like it's hierarchically the top section. It's everything is pinned. What's underneath the section is is recently visited. Yeah, and we we embrace that more when we added the ability to to you know to just drag a recently visited project up to pin it. Um, cause that's new as part of this as well. Like before you could never do that. Uh, and you know, really it is, you know, without majorly reinventing this in this page, like it is a pinned section is how it just functions, you know, code wise, et cetera. And so I think letting people drag recently visited projects up there, I think is really cool. We've talked about how like we've always wanted to just like, oh, that's how you pin it. You just drag it up there and now it's pinned. So like dragging a recently visited project up onto a stack to me, makes just as much sense that like it's pinned now. Uh, this is the pinned section. It doesn't have to always be that way, but I think based on where we've come from, it would be really hard to change that assumption. Okay, so this is a primarily technical. Um, I mean, I, I would say, I mean, as far as like for this specific project, I'd say probably seventy percent technical. Uh, but personally. I mean, to me, it makes more sense this way uh, that this is a pinned section. I think if we wanted to rethink like, no, things up here, they can be anything. They're not pinned. They're just, this is just another group of projects pinned or not project. I think we'd have to like rethink this page more of like, what is, what is this section if it's not the pinned section? 
this section is uh, a part of your desk where you put the stuff that's important to you. That's how I would think about this. So let me let me make my case, um, or at least share my point of view on this. Um, I think once we introduce stacks, it's not just pinned. So it was just pinned. So we're coming from a place of just pinned, but now it's not. Now it's it's like things that are pinned or 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 together. These are this is just like one separate place to put the stuff that's in play, like currently kind of in play. Now, if you think about when, so let's say you open that new stack, it says four projects, uh, Dorn. So if you're done, let's say the cycle's over, let's say you had a, a 12 cycle projects in here um, and uh, you had all your 12 cycle projects in here. Brian, you're managing these projects, you put them all in here, cycle's over, you hit empty. Think about what, what's going on in that moment at that time. You're saying like, I don't want these together anymore. There's a pretty good chance you probably don't want them at the top anymore either because they're like done. It's sort of like, they're kind of like over. But now you've got 12 pinned projects that have just shown up in this pin section. Um, you had three or four pinned things before because you pinned these four things. Now you've got 12 things that are pinned, which just overwhelmed the four things that you had. And now you probably have to go through and unpin the things that you don't want up there anymore. So I, I'm, well, the way I'm thinking about it is when you when you take stuff out of a stack, it's probably because it's over in a sense, the way this is currently designed. So I don't think pinning it by default at that point uh, would line up with the scenario I'm, I'm, you know, we're assuming here, the scenario that I think would be most likely, which is I'm done with this stuff. Don't need it up here anymore. Um, so, so my, my, just my preference, I, and this is not a veto or anything like that, but my preference would be if it's possible just to rem remember the, the, state of the project if it was pinned great and you take it out it stays pinned if it was before and previously uh previously seen or um previously what, what's it called even <laughs> what's it called recently visited recently visited i'm thinking of hay and base camp. recently visited uh you take it out um and it was came from there it should go back to there is is my my thinking to me this this new section is a is an is an improve is a expansion of the concept of up top I, I think of this section now as up top. What goes up top? Pin stuff and stuff in stacks. But it doesn't change the nature of the projects within the stack itself. The projects are the same. It's not a conversion um, to pinned. It's just they're together and all the things that are together live up here. So that's that's my thing. I don't again, I don't know what's what's possible, what's reasonable. Um, no, I think I think I think that makes a lot of sense. And I think the scenario that you painted is 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 a is more common than not um and I, I i totally agree with that um i think one of the technical challenges we had around that was without getting into too much detail here but the the challenge was like how do you drag a project from here there without actually pinning it right um but i think we should flip that on its head and say actually we can pin it but only look at unpinning it when you hit empty stack um, rather than because these are pinned here now essentially in the in the back end. Um so I, I well, think that that though, Jordan, with that, so if 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 empty stack unpinned everything, there might have been things that you had pinned that you did want to stay up there. But I, yeah. I would just wonder if you could ask uh who, who are you working on this with? With Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas, if you could ask Nicholas if it'd be possible um to I I and, and I can see like I can see through why maybe it wouldn't be. Um, right now, um, that that this is sort of a an adaptation of pins, and so therefore that's how it works. But if we could remember the state of a project and putting it up there, if it goes into if it goes into a stack, it's just in a stack, and stacks are essentially themselves pinned. But what's inside of them is the things that are inside of them are what they were. If it was pinned, it was pinned. If it wasn't pinned, it wasn't pinned. I don't think it should change the state. It's not intuitive to me that it's changing the state. And in fact, it's doing something to a project without me seeing it, without me understanding what that means. And I know we don't want pins here either because they have no meaning inside of a stack because you can't unpin in a stack. So understanding yeah. though that like we're probably, there's some leverage here because just the way things currently work. And I know this might be changing. So I would just inquire and just see like, is this a day? 
excuse me, yeah. days worth of work? Is it, is it like, if this actually would change a whole bunch of stuff. It'd be really complicated because I think that's worth just understanding. Yeah. We, we, we'll look into it. We'll look okay. into it. All right. Um, but just one additional thing like on that, like yep. to see how far we would need to take it, which is, you know, what happens when you drag a recently visited project just up to that section? Up to what section? Like if you just grab, I want to call it the pin back <laughs> section. Yeah, but, uh, let's call it, let's call it up top. Let's call if you it, grab up top. it up top. If drag it up top. Uh, so like I was saying, so like right now in the latest thing, no, I say what's live, you can't drag it at all. This, what we're about to ship, you can drag a project from recently visited up top and it'll pin it. So like, empty space. Right. So if so, I take that project three, drag it up into the empty space somewhere. Yep. To me, that makes sense because you're placing it up there individually by itself. Individual things by themselves up top are pinned. But stacks, which also exist up top, are not pinned. They're just, they just live up top. And so I think if you drag a project into a stack, it just retains the state that it had. If you drag a project from recently visited up into pinned and drop it uh, alone on its own, it does get pinned. So logically, I think that all adds up whether or not it's doable. I mean, anything's doable, but doable within, you know, where we're at in this project. Yeah, that's um, funny. I mean, like for me, uh, it feels just <laughs> like for my, the way my mind works, I guess I'd say like, it feels as, it feels logical that it feels strange that dragging a card up reproduces two different effects. Like sometimes you drag a card up and it's pinned. Sometimes you drag a card up and it's not pinned. Like that to me seems strange. Okay. Well, if if the section yeah. wasn't called pinned in your head, right? Because it's been called pinned for the past, however many years now at this point. Um, if it was always called up top, I know where there's like the counterfactual here. Like, can you, can you forget what it was called before? And can you imagine if it wasn't called pinned, but like pinning things, put stuff up top. And now there's not new things that can go up top, um, which are stacks. And this whole section was never called pinned. Um, or another way to think about it would be this. Let's say anything up top turned green and, uh, Dragging projects into folder into stacks will just turn them green. Also, you're like, why? Why is it green? Like, it's it's in a stack. What does that have to do with changing the color of the of the object? Like, normally the behavior was if I drag a project up on its own up top, it turns green. But um, putting it in a stack, why would it also turn it green? I what I'm trying to do is just group some things, and group stuff lives up top as well. Maybe that's kind of a weak argument. I don't know. I'm just wondering, trying to like break yeah. whenever I find myself in those. In those patterns, I try to break away from um, the uh, like the 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 title of the section uh, injecting too much meaning, just yeah, because yeah, of the history yeah. momentum of it, right? And I, I might be I might not be making a good argument. By the way, it just I would try to think of this as up top now has two kinds of things: things that stand on their own are pinned, so they stay there. Stacks also stay there. I mean, you can think about it in terms of like weight almost. A stack is heavier. It stays up there because it's heavier. Pin, uh, you, you know, you, you pin something. At, actually, this is backwards. That doesn't even make sense. Forget forget that I even said that part. But I'm just thinking there's two kinds of things that are up top. And putting something in a stack does not also do two things to it. It doesn't pin it first and then put it in a stack. It just puts it into a stack. Yeah. I guess yeah. one thing I wonder, though, is that yep. if we do that which I mean, I definitely can see pluses, some pluses to it, but like, if we do that, it kind of seems like in the stack, we would need to show whether stuff is pinned or not. Like, I don't think it matters here because think about what you're, what, what you're doing here. I don't need to know the state of something. I can't move things around in here. Right. You can, you can shuffle them right. around. Right. Yeah. But, 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 but what I'm saying is you can move anything around. So the fact that yeah. like, two of them were pinned, then you couldn't move those. It actually would add more complexity. Well, here, here's, here's, all right. here's what I'm referring to. It's just that like, it, you could take two actions here to get rid of stuff. You can drag it out 
and you can hit empty stack. Well, yep. once you hit it, you could. So, you, and then those cards go somewhere. And my point is that, like, if you don't, you know, because you don't remember where you drag this stuff from. So, like, if we don't show what's pinned or not, and you like drag a card out, like some of the cards are going to land and pin, and some of the cards going to go drop back and basically visit, and you wouldn't know which one is going, which one is going to happen, you know? Yes. So that's true. So that makes it feel like, oh, now we need to show like which is pinned and which isn't pinned, but then can you unpin from here? And uh, you know, like it just it just seems like more complication than, than it helps. So that's that's fair. Um, I would argue it doesn't matter what it was to you right now. Like, I would just argue that. If you take it out, it it was what it was. So if it was pinned, it goes back into pinned. If it wasn't pinned, it goes back down below. Like I don't because I can't change the behavior of the item. I I because I can't. It, let's say something was pinned and I wanted it to be unpinned. I couldn't unpin it and then drop it down below. It just is going to retain. It's gonna it's gonna revert back to what it was, regardless. And there's there's nothing I can do about that. So I would I would just um, let it do what it was or let it be what it was, but. Anyway, that, that's just, you know, I, I think it's worth mulling it over. But the bigger the bigger question is, before you even mull it over, technically, what would be possible to do that? And if if it turns out that that's like a major rework, it's not worth it at all. I think so. This is a matter of like, I think both arguments are, are fair. Um, one argument, my argument would not be even worth entertaining at all if it turns out that's technically quite difficult at this point. So it'd be nice to find out and then maybe we can discuss it again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. I mean, overall, I think both, both arguments are great and I'm, I'm for both. I'm on the fence on, on both <laughs> those. Um, I also say that like, if we go with the way it is, it's not the end of the world. Like it's, it's still fine. You know, I just, uh, I think that, um, well, anyway, let's see. So I, I think I'd be okay if if it ships the way it is. I, I I'm I'm not gonna like really argue yeah. beyond that. Um, it just feels more intuitive um, that these things don't pick up additional variables. Um, I really like I really like the wording that you used like up top. Um, and I wonder in that case if you reframe it like that, that would make a lot more sense. Um, not to have you know the confusion between pinned, unpinned, etc. In which case, like, do we actually need pins? You know, because you can just drag it up. Right. Um, so the pins are not really needed. Um, and, uh, you know, in which case we, we we remove that that confusion. Yeah, I think that's an interesting point too. I would say there's something about the pins that um, visually um, help to distinguish things in a different way I like up top versus like up top as a, a conceptually up top I don't know what that really means on its own um until I pin something or I I, I make a stack or something like the the section doesn't describe itself very well when it's one or the other when it's both yeah. it kind of does um but if they were just like six pin things I would prefer if that section was actually called pinned um but um, it also doesn't even need a name. I mean, as it doesn't have one. <laughs> like, it doesn't even have a name. Yeah, and part, I mean, part of the reason- to, didn't it? When we did, before Stacks or no? What's that? Did it? I'm, I'm like blanking. Did it actually used to, it didn't say pin before, right? Yeah, it doesn't no. have any more of a right. name than that. It pin used to, I think, project. in a previous iteration, a few iterations ago, but- Right, so the pins, the pins do the, you know, their own job here to say like this is the pins stuff. But now that there's stacks, it's it's just like it's up top. We we can just call it that. Yeah, and part of the reason that your know, pins exist or have, or have value uh, is like you know, first of all, you need a way to like move it, pin it, move it up top, whatever. You need a way to do it, you know, like without dragging and dropping. Yeah, right. uh, is one thing, and then also like at least in the current design, there's not a empty section waiting for stuff to be dragged into it like if you haven't pinned anything there's no section there it doesn't it doesn't exist until you pin your first thing so right we would need to like add a section that's always empty saying drag your first project up top exactly. or something like that yeah. exactly it, uh, can you remind me if you drag house remodel down into recently visited does it unpin it no you can't okay so in that case I don't think I'm okay with the way it works. 
but I don't think it's necessary that you can drag a project from recently visited up into pinned to pin it. I think you can drag it up to make a stack, but to, to drag it up and pin it and not be able to drag it down and unpin it seems a little bit odd to me. Um, anyway, um, minor, these are minor edge case outlier things that don't really matter. Uh, we're at, you know, we're, we're in the weeds, right? Cause, cause this is really good. So we're, we're in the weeds, not like, you know, how to, how to finish the last one or 2% of this. Um, but this feels like, this feels a lot better than, than, than the version we looked at last week. And I appreciate how quickly you guys made these changes. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with uh, how it turned out. Um, um, one quick question, uh, on the mobile side of things. So like mobile is working on supporting this, uh, and it's just going to be you know read only on mobile, so you're not you're not going to create stacks and stuff like that. We're not doing that right now, but like you know you'll be able to see your stacks obviously on mobile. Yep. So that's probably going to be you know two ish weeks, maybe a little bit more um, before it's ready on mobile. And so there was the question of you know are we okay shipping this? You make a bunch of stacks, you go to mobile, and the stacks aren't there. Um, you know all the projects are there because well they're all they're all pinned currently but anyway all, all the projects are there yeah uh, but they're not in stacks uh you know my general take was it like yeah you know like two weeks we can announce you know available soon on mobile you're not really losing anything it's probably good enough but just wanted to um double check if you saw much reason to like how disruptive do you think it'd be like i made all these stacks but i went to mobile and i don't see my stacks um my my gut on that is that and I, I never say this, but I think we should wait. <laughs> and, and the main reason why is because um, if you put a dozen projects, you start to really organize things. You put a dozen here and a dozen there. Um, before you had three pin things because like those are your top three things and you always want them at the top. And now all of a sudden you're going to have, you know, 27 things at the top, you know, a dozen of this and a dozen of that. And then the three pinned that you had. And now, now your pins are less valuable uh, than, than before. And then I imagine if you start to unpin projects because you're like, wait a second, I just want these three pinned, then it's going to start to mess with your stacks on desktop, but you won't be able to see that until you get back to desktop. And now your folder, or your stack has eight things instead of 12. And it, there's just like these mixed behaviors that I feel like in the grand scheme of things, we should, we should wait until that works. We don't need to wait. It's not like it's breaking anything. Um, but it just feels disconnected in a way where it might be, I would say it probably would be frustrating to have a few pin things and then a few stacks and then on, on mobile, it's just like this long list of pin things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, normally we, we just ship stuff right. and mobile would catch up or mobile would be ahead of us or whatever. But given the fact that this is the home screen and mobile, uh, screens are small to begin with. I think people might find, you know, a few dozen surprise projects up there and pinned to be quite frustrating. That's my general gut sense. I, I don't know. Yeah. Do, do you do you buy that or do you think it's not important enough? Or yeah, I mean, I think it's totally reasonable. Uh, you know, certainly going on sort of our you know normal approach of like, well, don't, yeah. we don't want to be waiting on stuff <laughs> too, too yeah. often, you know, don't, Agreed. uh, so you know, just said like, didn't want this branch to sit out there for too long and now we got to rebase it and, you know, just yep. whatever. Uh, yep. That's a trade-off for sure. And, you know, just like the fact is like, okay, so people would have, you know, how many people are going to be involved? Like people would have to know about the feature. They'd have to try the feature. They'd have to probably create a bunch of stacks or a lot of projects in the stacks. And then they'd have to be using mobile and use it a lot. And, uh, so my general thought was like, you know, the risk was fairly low and let's keep things moving. I'd say, you know, I think the best part of what you were saying there was about the, you know, just as like, you know, like the screen size on mobile, like just kind of like thinking about it, like you could almost take advantage of these stacks because it's going to make your life on mobile a lot easier. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, oh my gosh, if I could put all my cycle projects in my stack and on my phone, it'd be so much easier to manage. And then you do it and like, it doesn't work. Uh, so I think that the, the fact that stacks are actually very beneficial on a small screen on mobile uh, is, is another plus in, in waiting. And I don't, I don't, I don't think it would have major implications to wait. So 
Here's another way to do it. We could just ship it as is. Don't tell anybody it exists. Yeah. <laughs> Dorn mentioned if you people are gonna soft find launch out, idea, you know, just like. <laughs> just put it out there. We can start using it anyway. Some people will find it somehow by accident. And then we don't have to keep branches synced up. Like this, it's in production. We're good to go. Yeah. Um, I would actually vote for that, at, you know, thinking it through because we don't have the trade-offs of de- keeping branches in sync and rebasing and the whole thing. So yeah. you just ship it as is. Once we've tightened up a couple of these little details and, you know, played with, you know, move, change the edit state and a couple of things like that, ship it quietly. Um, we can start to play with it ourselves. Someone will discover it. Don't tell the community yet. Don't tell anybody. Although maybe we could tell the community. We could tell the community and, and just say, um, hey, look, uh, here's how it works. Um, just so you know, for the next few weeks, it's not going to be available on mobile. Therefore, if you do this, this is going to happen. So you might want to hold off on that, but we can get some more people involved that way. That'd be a nice thing to actually to involve them. Now that I think about it, just letting them know up front. We wouldn't want to announce it publicly in that way where, Hey, just by, so you know, like this is going to be kind of weird on mobile. This is like a, more of an insider thing. And then we can move on. I'd be up for that. Sure. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. It's like a soft, soft lunch. Yeah. Soft launch. Yeah. Yeah. But you had, you had a very good point about this experience, you know, creating stacks and organizing your stuff is such a personal thing to do, right? Like I can definitely see myself organizing all my stacks and then going on mobile and not seeing them. I'll be like, where, where's my stuff? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, as long as we, again, tell the community that this is sort of, Hey, you guys have a, a, an early preview, essentially, this is live in your account, but it's a bit of a, you know, early preview. We're not going to announce this formally for everybody until, uh, this is working on mobile, but here's what will happen if you do it. So, you know, proceed at your own risk, essentially, not like there's any risk, but you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Okay. I like that. That'd be, that'd be good. That would solve all, all of our problems too, about branches and whatnot. Okay. For sure. Cool. Cool. Um, I think that's, uh, everything that we have so far. So Doran, do you want to just check in with Nicholas about like, what would be, it, it would it be possible to maintain the status or the yeah the status of a recently visited project or a pin project in the stack even though stacks are always going to be displayed up top yeah yeah I'll, let's I'll just try. find out let's just find out and we can discuss asynchronously wherever yeah yeah okay cool this is great cool people are gonna like this awesome. and eventually yeah. like you can see where this goes like like click into a stack for a second Doran. i can imagine um and then click on the name of the stack to go into like whatever edit mode i can imagine like adding a background image. You know, I can imagine changing the color of the stack. Like there's a lot of things, there are a lot of um, levers off of this we can pull to to make these stacks uh, stand out even more. I mean, you can imagine creating a stack for a client and uploading the client logo, you know? And so now you got like Nike, got the swoosh and um, it could replace the name, just like, you know, hit never mind or close out of here. Um, uh, Close out completely. Yeah. And scroll scroll down to the top again or up to the top. Sorry. So we have Honcho Design, but of course, if you if you hover over that um and you replace with your logo, it could replace with the logo. So the new stack could be called Nike or it could have the swoosh, right? And then you're like, ah, oh, this is pretty great. All my Nike client projects are in here, got the Nike logo. So there's a lot of opportunities here to expand this simple idea, which is what we get when we simplify this compared to the other version where we had like a window into all the little projects, you kind of lose the ability to, to do more. Yeah. I mean, there's not much room here for that if we went there. Right. So, uh, I think, I think this, uh, this is going to be a really nice improvement. It also, it's within the, within the, the, the spirit of just Fisher price, which is, you know, simplifying these things, making them very straightforward, um, and really trying to reduce some clutter here. So I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good work. Great work. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.